All right, let's begin with this. A measurement is made of significant figures. That's what a significant figure is. A significant figure is any digit that comes directly from an instrument and is important in the representation of the measurement, the quantitative representation of the measurement. So, if you're using the instrument, if it's your instrument, you obviously can determine which digits were read from the instrument. And you can identify which digits are significant. Because sometimes scientists will use non-significant digits mixed in with significant digits to represent a measurement. Why? Because. A zero can be significant, and it can be insignificant. If it's insignificant, it's used to hold place value. Let's say I have the number 500, 500. Five, zero, zero. The two zeros are simply used to maintain place value. If they didn't exist, then 5 would have a place value of 1s, where you need to have it have a place value of 100s. So 500 zero, zero, written just like that, those two zeros are just giving the five place value. So sometimes the values are used to, the zeros are used to give significant digits proper place value. So you need to come up with some rules that will help you identify the significant digits in a measurement because oftentimes you you will be given or you will use measurements taken by other scientists in other laboratories and you don't know what their instruments look like. Why is this important? Because there are rules for calculating multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, the utilization of significant digits and measurements. If I multiply or divide two measurements, for instance, the answer must have the same accuracy as the least accurate measurement. Well, the fewer the number of significant figures, the less the accuracy. The greater the number of significant figures, the greater the accuracy. So I need to be able to know in a measurement how many significant figures there are because I need to be able to determine the relative accuracy. So I need rules. So let's come up with rules. The first rule is pretty obvious. All non-zero digits are significant. Easy rule, easy to remember, no problem. And all the other rules are simply surrounding when a zero is significant. So there are nine digits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Easy. Okay. A zero that is after the decimal point to the right, after to the right, reading from left to right, and is a final digit is a significant figure. So here's an example. That means reading from left to right after, at the end, the far right, that zero is significant. Easy? Okay. A zero with a bar is significant. All right, there you go. Easy. Uh, it's not repeating decimal, it's simply a zero with a bar over it, okay? A zero bound on the right by a decimal point and nothing else, like this particular example, where it's a point written in that is significant. Okay, here are some examples, rule two, three, and four. And then the last one is any zero between two significant figures is significant. So now let's work on some examples and we'll look at the rules for each. I'll speed this up a little bit because it's going to get a little bit crazy. So I'll let things go a little bit faster. Now you're going to have to remember the rules, memorize them, have them in front of you. You're not going to have the rules available to you on a test or a quiz, so you're going to have to learn them. So my suggestion would be to just memorize them and just deal with them. Because the more problems you do, the more you're going to be able to remember them. So here's the first one. Two zero 
zero zero point zero 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 two thousand point zero zero zero. So a non-zero number is significant. That's rule number one. A final digit, a final digit if it's a zero after the decimal point, so the one to the right, that's also significant. And then any zeros between two significant figures. So now you count them up, and there are seven, and that's how you do the first one. Now the rest of them will follow fairly quickly, okay? And I'll see you when it's over. You may want to, like, have the rules in front of you or something, but you want to be studying the rules while this is happening. All right, now, here is some practice. I'll give you a series of measurements, and then you're going to have to determine fairly quickly how many of the digits are significant. Some of the values will be in scientific notation, or that's not really scientific notation. Some of it isn't. Be base 10. So. Let's try the first one. That would be four, and then three, and then that would be five. That's three. Those All those zeros are for placeholders. And so you want to go through the rules as you do this. All right? And I'll see you when it's over. So that's it, all right? So you should be able now to do a series of worksheets on significant figures and determining them. Now what we'll look at, we'll look at a little bit more of uh, how to change things to scientific notation, accuracy, precision, etc. cetera.